Hey everybody, hope you guys are healthy and safe. So today we're taking a look at this. This is the Huawei MateBook 16S. So it is a 16 inch laptop in Huawei's MateBook series. And this thing runs on the newest 12th generation Intel Alder Lake CPU. So the model I have is the middle of the pack model. It's an i7. There's also an i5 and an i9 model. So the i7 model with 16 gigs of RAM and one terabyte of storage retails for 1699 euro. That's about 1740 US dollars. So yeah, this thing is not cheap, but 12th generation Intel machines are generally expensive. So as you can see, the 16 inch panel looks great. It's a 2.5K LCD panel. It stretches almost side to side with minimum bezels. So because the bezels are so thin, that means you're able to fit a 16 inch display in a body that's closer to a traditional 15 inch laptop body. Now this guy is not light but it's also not heavy when you consider that this is a 16 inch laptop and you have more ports than you get from something like a MacBook. So this machine measures 17.3 millimeters in thickness at its thickest point and it tapers down here a little bit. Now this is not an ultra thin laptop but it is still thinner than my 16 inch MacBook Pro and lighter too if you compare the two. Now, as I said, Huawei does give you more ports than many other laptop makers. So you have a headphone jack, a full-size HDMI, and two USB-C ports. One of them is a Thunderbolt port to charge the laptop. And on the right side, you have two full-size USB-A ports. Now, this is obviously an aluminum unibody design, and in typical Huawei fashion, it is really well built. You can open the lid with just one thumb. The machine's uh, weight is properly balanced, and the hinge is really sturdy. Now here in the upper right corner is Huawei's trademark one-touch power button that doubles as a fingerprint scanner. So you just have to press it once, leave your finger on for a beat, and it will unlock all the way. This trackpad is large and responsive, but unfortunately you do not get that haptic feedback shortcuts that you get in the flagship Huawei MateBook X Pro. That one you can swipe up and down on the edges to adjust volume or brightness. You don't get that here. This is just a standard trackpad. Now this keyboard is awesome. All the keys are evenly spaced, and there's a lot of travel in the keys. I believe there's like 1.5 millimeters of travel, so that's 50% more travel than what you get in traditional laptops. And I am a very fast typer, and I can reach my peak like 103 words per minute on this keyboard. You do have two large speaker grills that run across the left and right side of the base, and the speakers are above average. Now maximum brightness for this display is 500 nits, which is more than good enough for indoor use. But if you are using this outside at a beach resort under the sun, it might be a little bit hard to see during the most intense daylight. Now this machine runs Windows 11 Home and it's a pretty intuitive software. I'll be honest, I prefer Mac OS, but you know, Windows 11, it's a lot cleaner than before. Now one of the useful features I like about Windows 11 is you can open multiple instances of the same home screen. So right now let's say on this home screen, I have Spotify, Instagram, and Slack. I can jump down here and open a brand new desktop. Jump to desktop two, and it's a clean window. So I can just open up uh, Windows Edge right here, and I can quickly jump back and forth between the two. Now the 12th generation Intel i7 is quite a performer. As you can see from the cross mark numbers here, these numbers are actually better than the numbers in my M2 MacBook Pro. But there is no discrete GPU in this machine. Huawei is relying on Intel Evo to power its graphics. But even then, it's more than good enough to do basic video editing and some light gaming. You're not going to use this machine for heavy gaming. This is not that type of laptop. So this machine packs an 84 watt hour battery inside. And for my testing, if I'm doing my typical daily work tasks, like office productivity tasks, it's good enough for like eight or nine hours. So for me, that would be opening Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge and have like five or six tabs open, Slack running in the background consistently, and Spotify streaming in the background also. If you're just watching videos on either Netflix or YouTube, you can expect to get nine or 10 hours on a single charge. If you're pushing a little bit heavier, like if you are indeed editing videos or playing games, then maybe five hours. So the good news is this thing comes with a 90 watt fast charger and it's really small in size. Look at this thing. I mean, it's a little bit bigger than a typical smartphone brick, but definitely smaller than the chargers that I used to get from like my Dell XPS and definitely smaller than an Apple MacBook charger. And of course, one of the benefits of using a Huawei laptop is you can connect the machine wirelessly to other Huawei devices like my Huawei Mate View right here. This is my favorite monitor. So right now my MateBook is completely untethered. 
but I can just come here, go to available display, tap on mate view, and then it should begin prompting me to connect. I just have to tap allow and yeah, I think it's moving now. Here we are. So I've uh, connected to my Huawei Mate Few wirelessly. So right now it is mirroring, but I think I can change it to extend. Yeah, clearly, of course you can. So now I have ex connected to extend and I can move windows over to the larger Mate View. And my Matebook is completely untethered and I can lift this up and go work a little bit further away and still use that big screen. So yeah, this is the Huawei Matebook 16S in a nutshell. I think some of my viewers are gonna find this laptop a little bit expensive at like a little bit over 1,700 US dollars, and it is. But at the same time, this laptop is in a pretty niche spot. It doesn't have a direct competitor because if you go for other laptops with such a large screen and a 12th generation Intel chip, it will have a discrete CPU, which will pump the price up to well over $2,000. And then conversely, if you want a 12th generation Intel laptop without a discrete CPU from another brand, they're usually smaller than this, thus a little bit cheaper. In fact, I think Huawei has another 16 inch laptop, the Huawei Matebook D16, that has a little bit lower specs, but it's 500 euros cheaper than this and you still get a 16 inch display. So if you only care about large screen over everything else, you might want to look for into the Matebook D16 instead. But if you're okay with paying this price, and you're already using Huawei's ecosystem, this is a great addition. I think right now Huawei's ecosystem is second only to Apple's ecosystem. Samsung is a pretty good one too, but Samsung doesn't have anything as cool as the Huawei Mate View. So yeah, that's about it for this uh, not quite review. This is like a hands-on of the Huawei Matebook 16S. I will have more content on this machine maybe in a couple of weeks, because right now I also have a bunch of other stuff I need to do. It's a very busy month as usual. So if you're interested in more content like this, please consider subscribing to my channel. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching.